Hello, got an email from a client today looking to do a curtain wall like the one illustrated here and they want to demo, uh, de do demolition of the existing doors and insert new doors uh, where indicated uh, here with the uh, magenta lines. The problem with uh, the attempting this is that a curtain wall object in uh, Revit can only have um, one uh, can only have its uh, phasing applied across the overall main object. So you can see here I have the curtain wall selected and the phase is new construction. However, if I tab into uh, the individual components that make up the curtain wall, I don't get the option to demo uh, those items. So the workaround that I came up with um, involves basically making more than one curtain wall, kind of breaking the existing curtain wall up into pieces. So if we look at it here in an elevation view, I've already kind of taken the first few steps over here on the right. So this uh, second door over here, this one is just a nested infill inside this uh, larger uh, curtain wall here. Um, but this one over here is actually nested in a second curtain wall uh, like so. So if I were to take this uh, curtain wall and hide the uh, element and its nested uh, door, what you actually have is um, the original curtain wall has like a hole basically taken out of it. And then in its place, I added a new uh, curtain wall in there, and then we can apply whatever um, phase that we wish to that new curtain wall. So for example, if I were to select uh, this curtain wall, let's start by taking the entire collection here. We'll filter by just walls and we'll start by actually assigning these walls as existing construction. This, These are now all existing curtain walls and then uh, we'll select this infill one that I added uh, separately and I'll show you how I did that in just a minute and we will uh, tell it that it's demolished in new construction. And so when you do that, um, you'll see it here in plan. Uh, it demos the door because the, uh, just like this one here is showing is existing because we uh, changed the overall curtain wall to existing and all its nested infills also went to existing. In this case, we changed the overall curtain wall to demolition and therefore all of its nested infills also go to demolition. Now uh, to infill this with a, um, uh, a new piece of curtain wall, uh, then basically what we would need to do is just go to wall. Now you can of course use any curtain wall type you want. In this case uh, I'm keeping it relatively simple with a simple uh, curtain wall one which is just uh, the glass basically. And I will um, draw it across like so. Ignore the warning here um, because that's just telling me what normally would be a problem is that I have uh, two curtain walls in the same spot. Uh, and then I could do a uh, uh, curtain grid by uh, coming over here and I might need the tab to get that on the right spot. And uh, whoops, I did not get it on the right spot. So it might make some sense to, oh yes. Uh, let me tab into here and take this guy and hide it and this guy and hide it. Um, one thing I forgot was the height of that new curtain wall will default to whatever its default height is so you'll wanna you'll wanna drag that down and you'll wanna snap it to the inside uh, of that grid line there so that the glass only appears in there and you can even lock it if you like. Uh, looks like I accidentally created a dimension there and uh, now I ought to be able to uh, add a curtain grid uh, to that and then of course we could put a mullion uh, on there and all of that will show up as new construction uh, as you can see in both the elevation view and you can see here in the floor plan view. How did I do that? Let's go over here and kind of repeat the process over here. How did I make the hole in the first place? Um, it starts by uh, tabbing in and selecting the grid line. 
doing add and remove segments, removing this segment, and that kind of takes away that uh, mullion in there. You can change the join condition if you like. Uh, then I would select and unpin and then delete uh, the mullions that were not required. Tab into here, unpin that, and then the trick is to choose um, the empty system panel. Uh, because when you do, uh, what you'll get is, if we uh, take a look at this in, uh, 3D here, is you will get basically an opening in there. So even though this is still part of the curtain wall, it's just, it renders as a void, it, it, it acts as if there's nothing there. And that allows me to come back in and draw in the new uh, curtain wall that I want to fill that spot with. And uh, you can draw another one in with a uh, swinging door and so forth and so on. Not exactly an ideal solution, but it does do the trick. Uh, it will uh, achieve the end result, and uh, hopefully you find that useful. Thanks very much for watching.